Thank you for joining us. We are going to be unboxing the 2021 version of the ASUS VivoBook 15, the S532 EQ. This version has the uh, ScreenPad 2.0 and Thunderbolt 4. And this particular model is a Tiger Lake uh, 11th generation i7 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte solid state drive with the NVIDIA Geoforce MX350. You'll also notice that I have uh, tagged the Samsung S21 Ultra with the same video. That's because the video was produced entirely with the S21 Ultra as it comes out of the box. No additional uh, apps or software or anything else, just what came out of the box with the S21. So let's get ready to unbox the uh, VivoBook S15. Okay, so here we have the box for the ASUS VivoBook uh, S15. Uh, around this side you have uh, serial numbers and pertinent information there. And on the back we've got the specifications for the machine. And uh, then so let's go look inside and see what we have. Okay, let's check here. Nothing behind here. Some of the earlier versions had a computer sleeve back there. Okay. Here on this side, we've got the charger. Okay. And then here is the laptop itself. Let's set that aside for a moment. And uh, we've got paperwork in here. This is the warranty card. This looks like it's a guide for the screen pad. And uh, this looks like it's um, the user guide for the laptop. Okay. And there's an envelope in here. Let's see what this is. Asus Vivo Book, Wow the World. Open it up, see what we got. Oh, stickers. So you can uh, personalize your laptop. I think these will probably wind up in the hands of some grandkids. <laughs> okay, so we'll put all this back in here and close the box. Right. Now let's take a look at the laptop. Here is the, uh, the Asus VivoBook S15. It has a uh, aluminum case and it's very lightweight, very sturdy. And uh, come around this side, we see that we have uh, two USB ports on the front. And over here on this side, starting from this end, there's a power. HDMI, another USB port, the Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4, the port for headphones and microphone, and a micro SD card reader. Then on the bottom of the machine, we have over here, we have the um, cooling vents and then hardened carbon speakers. Okay, so now let's open it up. Okay, you'll notice the hinge raises and lowers the, uh, the back of the laptop. If you can see that here. Okay, so what this does, it creates airflow for the coolant system and uh, gives you a uh, easier typing angle for the computer. So they say, we'll find out as I uh, work on it and see if it really does make a difference to me. And then the big seller for this laptop is the ScreenPad 2.0. All right, so there is the laptop itself. Now I'll uh, plug it in and uh, get it all set up, and we'll come back and see what uh, see what it does. Today we're filming from the lair of a gamer like Dad 
YouTube channel run by my son-in-law Chris and his son, my grandson Bentley, where they do open boxes for Pokemon cards and Chris takes Bentley on adventures through vintage video games. Check them out. I think you'll love the channel. I have completed the initial setup for the laptop, uh, going through the uh, Microsoft setup through Cortana and all the stuff that Microsoft has you do. And I've got a suggestion. When you first turn the computer on, Microsoft is going to start the setup and you're going to need to use the trackpad to click on various links and make certain choices. But the problem is that the screen pad is also running through a small tutorial. And so you have to keep giving the three tab tap to gain control of the trackpad and go back and forth between the trackpad and the screen. And um, that's just <laughs> very frustrating. So when you first turn it on, uh, you need to turn off the trackpad, go through your, or turn off the screen pad, go through your open setup for Windows, and then turn it back on. I'll show you how that's done. There are three ways to change the function from screen pad to trackpad. The first is a three finger tap. Lightly tap the screen and you get a tracker pad that you can use just like any other normal computer would be. And when you release it two seconds later, it goes back to screen pad mode. If you don't like that function, there's a way to change that. On the screen pad in the lower right hand corner is the control button. Click on that, click on the setting gear, and go to three finger tap gesture and change that from automatically to manually exit. Okay, and then you can go back and exit out of that. Now, when you give it the three finger tap, you have a trackpad that you can use and it doesn't go back to screen pad until you hit the X button. Okay, now be careful when you're doing the three finger tap, if you hit it too hard, you're going to bring up an application. Okay, <clears throat> so there's the X to go back. The second way, you hit the tracker icon here and it changes the trackpad. And now, since we've changed the function or the, of the, the three finger tap, the three finger tap and this button now do essentially the same thing. They turn off screen pad until you hit the X button and request and allow it to go back. The third way is the F6 key. Pressing the F6 key will toggle between screen pad, touchpad, notepad, and back to screen pad. And once that happens, when you turn the machine off and then turn it back on, it will return to the same mode that you left it in. If you turned it to screen pad off to trackpad, when you turn the computer back on, it will come back on as a trackpad rather than as a screen pad. Now I want to look at three separate functions from the screen pad. Here you have the slide expert, dock expert, and the sheet expert. These are apps that are designed to make your work within Excel, Word, and PowerPoint easier by making certain functions readily available. Now let's take a look at how we could use Sheet Expert for Excel. Click the Sheet Expert icon and it tells you you cannot run Sheet Expert unless Excel is running. So here is a way that you can launch Excel. And we three finger tap to grab the cursor, double click our X, our spreadsheet and uh, it loads. Now we can go over to this icon, which controls um, inserting rows and columns, merging cells, and we can insert a couple of rows and uh, a few columns. And we can go here to regional cells report and highlight those cells and click merge. Now we can bounce over here to text and we can bold our title, go over here to alignment and we can center our title. Now we can go to our column headings. We can center the column headings, pop over to text and bold. Go here to our row titles and click bold again. Now we can go over here to our year to date cells and click formulas and sum. Grab the cursor, go up, change the width 
and highlight those cells. Hit sum, go back to home, and uh, hit highlight these cells, and hit underline. And now we can go here, exit out of Sheet Expert, and go to Handwriting, and we can type total, and it recognizes that's what we want. Hit the selection, close out of Handwriting, and there's our total. Now that our spreadsheet's complete, we can go back into Sheet Expert and hit Save. And that is how you use Sheet Expert with ScreenPad 2.0. And I'd like to take a look at the difference between the keypad on the VivoBook S15 and the old HP I used. In order to keep the VivoBook smaller, they've kind of consolidated the keypad. So you notice that on the old machine, the zero was as big as the one and two key combined, and the delete key and the one for the decimal was underneath three. So they have shortened the zero key, put the delete key beside it, and the enter key, instead of being on the side, is uh, over here. And the plus and minus keys, instead of being on the side, they're up at the top. And the numlock key is on the upper right hand corner instead of the upper left. That will take some getting used to. And I'm used to using the plus and the minus on the right hand side. And now it's going to be up the top and the enter key down at the bottom. And I've already noticed that there will be a couple times when I will hit enter when I intend to hit the decimal. So that's something we'll have to work with, but I think it's something I can work around. Sometimes I like to have a movie playing in the background when I've seen dozens of times, so I don't really need to be looking at the movie, just some noise going in the background while I'm working. So here, and this is one of several ways we can do this, we'll click on the app navigator, and we're going to take the movie down onto the screen pad, and we'll go back up to app navigator, and uh, switch back to screen pad mode, And we'll see that now the video is playing on screen pad. Okay. But now I want to go do something else while the movie's playing. I can scroll up, hit the, the main menu button, and let's do Excel again. And it will bring up the Sheet Expert, Excel spreadsheet, where I can Regain control of the cursor. Open up a blank spreadsheet. Go back to Spring to Sheet Expert and Screen Pad. Now I can exit Screen Expert. And so now that I'm back to the main Screen Pad menu, you can hear the movie still playing in the background. I can click this button and uh, click on the movie and bring it back up to full view on the Screen Pad, and we can. I have the movie running in the background while I'm working on the dis main display in the foreground. Now let's look at how they've assigned the function keys on the top row. F1 is mute. F2 is uh, volume down. F3 is volume up. F4 decreases the brightness of the screen. F5 increases the brightness of the screen. F6, as we've seen before, toggles between the different uh, modes for the screen pad. Uh, F7 brightens the, um, the the backlighting on the keys. F8 is what you need to use to use additional screens. F9 is a Windows lock. F10 turns off the camera. F11 is a, um, a print screen to be able to cut and paste what's on the screen. F12 brings up my ASUS. And those are the top keys for function. Okay, that completes our um, initial review 
of the ASUS Vivo Book S15, S532. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Hope it was useful to you. And if so, we'll uh, get back in about a month and I'll go through the uh, screen pad and see if I actually wind up using it and uh, see if it does wind up actually making my business life a little bit better. And thank you again for participating and viewing with us and uh, we'll see you in about a month. Thank you.